All right, let's get going. So just like we always do, we want to take a deep breath and just think about what we want to accomplish today in this workout. So let's take a few deep breaths. I want to get more flexible. That's what I'm always trying to accomplish and build some strength. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Relax, let go of any stress. We are going to do some light neck stretches. So I want you to take your chin lightly to your chest, just let it hang low. And you should be able to feel your breath through the back of your neck. I have a really tight neck, so I like this one. Take a few deep breaths here. And then we're going to roll and take that right ear to our right shoulder, keeping your shoulders relaxed. And try to put your fingertips on the ground while you do that. Rolling back to center, chin to your chest, and then rolling your left ear to your left shoulder. Coming back to center, head up, and we're gonna find our tabletop position. So go to all fours, distributing the weight evenly between your hands and your knees, fingers spread out wide. And we're gonna do some cat and cow. We've done these before, so you're going to take a deep breath in, and arch your back and take that head to the sky. Deep breath out, push the ground away and cave that back in, relaxing that neck down like a cat. That's why it's called cat and cow. We're gonna do a few of these. The important thing about yoga is that you maintain your breath, just like when you're playing tennis, hitting a serve, any ground stroke, you don't wanna hold that breath in. So any movement, should require an exhale. A few more. All right, let that breath out and then come back to your all fours. And now we're going to um, lift our knees. We're gonna be all, well on all fours. And then we're just going to lift our knees slightly off the ground. So it should look like this, just hovering, keeping your back flat. And we're going to stay here for a few breaths. So keep breathing really deeply. Make sure you aren't sticking that bottom in the air. Coming back down to all fours, gently putting those knees back on the ground. We're going to pop up into our down dog. So on down dog, remember you want to be in that Upside down V shape. You're gonna push the ground away with your arms and you're trying, you're reaching for the ground with your feet. So you can walk out any tension today. Connor's pushing through his legs and stretching out his calves. We're gonna be here for a second. Make sure your head is nice and loose and you can shake yes or no. All right, next we're gonna come into our three legged dog. So that is you stay in your down dog. No, you're good. And you're going to put your right leg up into three-legged dog. You have the option of doing um, a scorpion dog and taking that knee to the sky. Connor's going to stay in three-legged. I will do scorpion. You want to point your right foot at your left hand and really get that side stretch. Ooh, coming back into your... Three-legged dog, we are going to come into our low lunge, taking that right foot forward and bringing our left knee to the ground, bringing those hands up. If this hurts your knee, feel free to go into runner's lunge and pop that knee up off the ground. Taking a few breaths here, stretching out those hips. Your knee should still track over your ankle. Do not bring your knee over your toes. We're going to put our hands on the ground, transfer our weight back into a half split. And this is great if you have tight hamstrings like me. Yeah, sit down as far as you can. This is about as far as I can go. And then we're gonna come back onto our front foot and push up into a runner's lunge, taking that back knee off the ground. 
So we want to keep our shoulders relaxed, keep that neck relaxed, and take a few deep breaths in this position. Next, we're going to turn that left foot out just a little bit and push up into our warrior one, keeping a deep knee bend in that front knee. Your shoulders and belly button should be facing forward. Deep breaths here. You shouldn't be up like this. You should really feel that knee bent. You should be getting something out of this. All right, we're going to do extended side angle. So keeping that front knee forward, you're going to reach down as far as you can. If that's the mat, that's great. If you can only reach to your shin, that's fine. I'm gonna put my elbow on my knee, keeping that left arm extended and keeping my shoulders open. Okay, so this next one's gonna be a balance. We're gonna stay up in this position. You're going to hop off this back leg, hit the ground, and come up into your warrior three. So you can hold on to something if you need to. You're trying to keep your back leg even with your body. And you can put those arms forward. Balance tip is to put your weight into your big toe. All right, now we're going to stand up slowly, keeping that left leg off the ground, and take our left foot into our left hand. We're gonna grab the inside of your foot, we're gonna come into Dancer. We've done this one before. So keeping your knee behind you, you're going to grab that foot just like that, pushing your foot into your hand and your hand into your foot. And that's okay, if you fall out, you just get right back in, just like tennis. If you miss a shot, you have to just keep going to the next shot, the next point. Pick a spot on the wall. A few deep breaths here. Okay, keeping your balance, you're gonna stay up. We're gonna take this left leg and cross it over our right knee into one-legged prayer. So you're gonna sit down like you're sitting in a chair, except for this foot is crossed over this knee. If you need more of a balance challenge, you can put your arms up and you can even close your eyes for a bit if you can stay in. I'm gonna keep my eyes open. <sighs> Maintaining good posture, not hunching over. You wanna keep those shoulders back. All right, we are going to come back up and then sit back down into our chair pose. That's where we're sitting down, like we're sitting in a chair. Your weight should be more so in your heels. You shouldn't be forward like this. Rise up into mountain. We're going to take our arms up. Go all the way down to the floor to standing forward fold. And I hang out here for a second. Lift halfway up. Come back up into mountain. And we're going to do our cactus pose. So. We're going to get our hands in our W position, putting our elbows into our ribs, and squeeze those shoulder blades together. So you wanna squeeze them just like that, keeping your neck relaxed. This is a great one, I love this one. Okay, relaxing those arms back into mountain, not standing proudly. We're gonna come up, and then you can either hop or step back into your plank, Staying in your plank for a few moments, go halfway down, hover there, and then all the way down, pushing yourself up into up dog. Coming back, we're going to come back into our child's pose, keeping those knees out wide, sitting back on our feet, and then pop right back up into your down dog. We're gonna do the same thing on the left side. So three-legged dog, get your left foot up, Option to do scorpion dog, taking that left knee to the sky and pointing your left foot at your right hand. Okay, three-legged dog, bringing that foot forward for lower lunge, stretching out our hips, taking a few deep breaths here. Coming back into half splits, bringing your weight back.
And then we're going to come into our runner's lunge, bringing your right knee off the ground. Popping your right foot out and rising up into warrior one. Deep knee, bend in that left leg. Good. Okay, keeping your left knee bent, you're going to come into extended side angle. So you're reaching down for the mat with that left hand, keeping your right arm in the air. Going down as far as you can. If you need to rest your elbow on your knee, that's fine. Just really bending deep into that front leg while maintaining posture. Okay, we're gonna hop off of this back leg, put our hands down to the ground, and come into our warrior three. Trying to keep that back leg even with your body. It's a hard thing to do. Rising up slowly, maintaining your balance, and coming into dancer. So we're gonna take our right foot into our right hand and come back, picking a spot on the wall. If you fall out, that is okay. Try your best to stay up in it. Once again, if you need to be down here for this, that is fine. Everyone just do what they can. Okay, so we're going to keep that right foot off the ground, crossing it over our left leg, coming into one-legged prayer. Sitting down like we're sitting in a chair. Rising up, coming into chair. Sitting down, keeping our weight back on our heels, not on our toes. Rising up into mountain. And we're going to grab our, or clasp our hands behind our back like this and bend over into our standing forward fold. And you're trying to take your arms as close as you can to the ground. This is a great pose for your posture. Gets those shoulders nice and stretched out, which is good for tennis players. Release those arms. And we're going to jump or step back into plank. Halfway down, all the way down. Rising up into your up dog and then pushing back up into your down dog. Whew. All right. That's good. Staying here, relaxing here for a few breaths. Okay. Taking your right leg up into three-legged dog, we're gonna come through and push up into our warrior two. So you're gonna turn that left foot out, having a deep knee bend, looking down your fingertips, maintaining good posture. Straighten that front leg for triangle, and then we're going to try to take our hands as far down as we can while keeping your neck relaxed and your arm and shoulders open. If the furthest you can go down is here, that's fine. Just do your best. Rising back up into warrior two, we're going to do what is called reverse warrior. So you're going to take your back arm, your left arm, and take it down your back leg. Still keeping that bend in your front knee. And looking up to the sky. All right, back to warrior two. Oh, oops. 
We're going to turn our feet in one direction, facing forward for a wide leg standing straddle. So keep your arms up. We're gonna take them down, put them to the ground. If you need more of a challenge, reach your hands behind your legs. If you can already touch the ground. Oof. Slowly rising up, turning your feet slightly outwards. We're gonna do squat prayer. So you're gonna sit down like you're squatting, hands to prayer, and we're just gonna stay here for a few breaths. Sit a little lower with each breath. If your legs are shaking, that means you're working really hard. Rising up, back into standing straddle. And then you're going to take your hands to the front of your mat, come back, to, back into down dog. Then we come out to our plate pose. Halfway down, all the way down. Rising up, up dog, pushing back, or down dog. Okay, down dog, leg up left. Bringing it through, pushing up into warrior two. Keep breathing in and out. Straightening the front leg and coming into triangle, reaching as far down as you can while keeping your shoulders nice and open. And remember, if something ever hurts you when you are doing one of these poses, find a substitution. You never want to strain any muscle doing yoga. Rising back up into warrior two, come into reverse warrior, taking your right arm down your right leg, relaxing your neck and looking towards the sky. Keeping that front knee bent. Back to warrior two, turning our feet to one direction. We're gonna come back down into our standing straddle. If you have a partner, you can grab the arms. <laughs> okay, standing back up, and we're going to do another squat prayer. So turning your feet slightly outward, coming into prayer and squatting down. Taking deep breaths, coming deeper into that pose. I want you guys, I want your legs to be shaking while you're doing this. Your legs shaking? Such long legs. Standing back up to standing shadow. We're going to take our arms and put them back to the front of the mat. Coming back into our down dog. Then we come to plank. Halfway down, all the way down, and then sinking up to a child's pose. Just resting there for a moment. Nice. Okay, now we're going to get to um, some core exercises. So find all fours. And we're going to do cat crunches. So first what we're going to do is we're going to make sure our weight is even between our hands and our, let, our knees. And you're going to take your left arm off the mat and your right leg off the mat. Pushing that right foot all the way to the butt behind you. And... Well, I guess put pulling your left leg forward or your left arm forward. And we're going to take our knee to our elbow and crunch. And when you crunch right here, I want you to really crunch those abs in. I want you to do 10 on this side and then come back to all fours. Two, three, this isn't a race. Four, crunching those abs in. Make sure you're breathing when you bring that elbow and knee together. And 10. Make sure that you aren't shortening the motions either and going fully forward and all the way in. Let's do 10 more on the other side. So right arm up, left leg back, 
coming in and meeting one another. Four, five. Breathing out every time my elbow touches that knee. Is that nine and 10? Coming back to all fours. Whew, taking a breath, we're going to come onto belly, and belly is my favorite pose. So you're gonna put your hands beneath your face and put it to one side. So we're gonna do something, they're a, a little difficult, they're called locust jumping jacks. So what you're gonna do is, first we're gonna start off, you're just gonna bring your chest and arms off the mat, and you're gonna come into a W position. So your elbows are back, and now we're just gonna take that W and make it a Y. W, Y, so let's do a few of those in practice. Make sure you're breathing, and then we're gonna add another element to it. We're gonna take our feet, and when we're in a W, our feet are together, and then when we go up, our feet go out. So when we go into the Y, our feet go out. Got it? Okay, we're gonna do 15 of those. Whew, here we go. One, two, three, four. You're trying to keep your legs and arms off. Are you counting? What are we on, Con? Eight. That's it. Count. I don't know. I can't. I don't know what we're on. Okay. Fifteen. There we go. Now I want you to get on your back, and we're gonna do some crow crunches. So you're going to get up and put your knees up into a 90 degree angle, so feet off the ground. And you're gonna start with your hands by your legs, and then you're going to extend everything out without those feet touching, just like that. We're gonna do 15 of those. Now Connor's gonna keep his neck up the whole time. I'm gonna keep my neck on the ground because I don't like to strain my neck. So here we go, 15 of those. Make sure you're extending all the way out, not touching the ground, and breathing, exhaling every time you bring those arms and legs together. And crunching your abs together when you bring it all in. This one isn't a race either. Fifteen. Good job. Okay, next up we're going to do twisting boats. So we've done both the last few weeks. We're going to balance on our bottom, taking our knees either up in a 90 degree angle or you can straighten them if you like. You're going to take your arms in front of you and we're going to twist and take an arm behind you. So straight back. This one is not a race either. You want it to be about a medium pace. I want you to do 10 on each side. One. Breathing. Three. It's important on this one to maintain a good posture. Don't get sloppy. Make sure your eyes are looking over your arms too. Every time. I've lost count, but I think I have two more. All right, good job. Okay, let's do another fun one. So you're gonna get on your back and you're gonna put your feet on the ground, bend, bending them right behind you. Like you're gonna do a bridge. You're gonna take your right ankle and put it over your left knee. And we're going to push up and do bridges. So you're gonna to try to get your hips as high to the sky as you can. I want you to do 10 on each side. So we'll start with our right leg over our left knee. Putting your hands right back beside your bottom. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Good job. So switch, putting your left ankle over your right thigh. Here we go. Ten more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, so next what we're going to do is a plank pose, and then we'll do a few stretches. So we're just going to do a 30-second plank today. You can do your plank on your hands or your elbows. And we'll go in three, two, one, up. You want to keep your back flat. Your bottom shouldn't be sagging or it shouldn't be in the air. Kind of looking good. Keep your neck nice and relaxed, tucking that stomach into your spine so you can feel it in your abs. Down. Good job. Okay, so let's do a few stretches before we go. Feel free to do more out onto this. Let's start with a butterfly. <sighs> Sitting up nice and tall. I'm trying to stack your vertebra on top of another. This one's a hard one for me to keep a straight back on. Bending over. Try to smell your feet. You're supposed to say, ew, smell the feet. Okay, coming back. Let's do some hamstring. So just touch your toes. Try to touch your toes. If you can't, just reach for them. Good. Oh, what, what stretch do you want to do, Colin? What do you like? Pigeon on back. Pigeon on back. Okay, I'm going to do pigeon. You can either do it on back like Connor is or sitting up. Crossing your right ankle over your left knee, kind of what we just did. I guess it's called four point. So we're just stretching, no bridge. So you should feel this one in the hips. Okay, let's switch them up. Left ankle crossing over the right knee. And if you're on your back like Connor, make sure you're relaxing those shoulders into the ground, not straining. I'm much tighter on my left side. All right, coming back to center. Connor, any other request? Okay, I'll do a seated, and then let's do some nice and easy twists. So you're going to take your right hand, put it behind you. Take your left hand to your right knee and just look over your right shoulder. Just an easy twist for your spine. Coming back to the center, taking your left hand behind you and your right hand to your left knee. Looking over that left shoulder. Coming back to center. That's pretty much right on time. So we'll stop here. Thank you for watching. Um, Coach Amy's going to do one more workout um, on Thursday at 2.30.